Hi, my name is Marisa Caro and I work at the Institute of Physiological Genomics of the University of Munich. Today I'd like to discuss some very interesting facts about a peculiar cell population, the parasites. Furthermore, I would like to discuss the concept of whether parasites, due to their wide distribution and plasticity, could serve as a universal key to tissue repair in the brain, the spinal cord, the heart or the muscle. I would like to start in giving you a little background of what parasites are and where they originate from. Predominantly, parasites are associated with endothelial cells and attached to the walls of microvessels. Depending on their location, the developmental origin of parasite varies, even though a complete picture of where parasites originate from is still lacking. In most organs, such as the skeletal muscle or the spinal cord, Parasites are derived from mesoderm. However, lineage tracing studies have revealed that parasites in the forebrain are of neurocrest and hence of neuroectodermal origin. In summary, there seems to be a dual origin for parasites. However, so far, no data exists of whether the respective origin of parasites matters for the differentiation potential of different tissue parasites. Further studies differentiating parasites from a pluripotent stem cell source will help in shedding some light on these aspects of parasite biology. According to the epigenetic landscape model proposed by Waddington, where cells are placed in either the summits or the valleys according to their differentiation potential, we envision parasites as mountaineers and follow them on their journey across this landscape. Parasites either originating from the neuroectoderm or the mesoderm can be enticed to generate other differentiated cell types such as induced neurons and mature myofibers by processes that I want to highlight now and that are indicative for the remarkable plasticity of parasites. Giulio Cossu's team has analyzed the putative use of parasites for muscle repair. In a first study, they could show that human muscle-derived parasites can colonize host muscle upon transplantation and can spontaneously fuse into myotubes in a mouse model of muscular dystrophy Duchenne. In a follow-up study, they aim to find out whether endogenous parasites can also contribute to tissue regeneration. Indeed, parasites residing in the muscle can differentiate to bona fide muscle stem cells and are recruited to the site of injury. Moving now to the spinal cord, Christian Göritz and co-workers readdressed the cell type involved in scar formation upon injury and to their surprise they found a role for parasites. By genetically fate mapping parasites, they were able to show that only a specific subtype of parasites, coined type A parasites, reacts up an injury by a remarkable increase in proliferation and invasion into the damaged tissue. Type A parasites even lose contact to the endothelial cells, thus leaving their niche to contribute to scar formation and wound healing. Christian Göritz and other researchers' data suggest that parasites can become reactive following injury. Thus, in analogy to reactive astrocytosis, we could call this reactive parasitosis. Encouraged by these data demonstrating parasite plasticity, we have set out to see whether parasites can be exploited for CNS repair beyond just forming a scar. And thus, we have examined the potential of brain-resident parasites to differentiate into neurons. To this end, we established the conditions to culture parasites from the adult human brain and enrich them in vitro. By transducing them with retroviruses encoding two neurogenic transcription factors, SOX2 and MESH1, we were able to directly reprogram them into induced neuronal cells and could show that they exhibit features of bodafine neurons. This supports the idea that parasites could be exploited for tissue repair, perhaps even in the brain. Ultimately, the most important challenge ahead concerns the question of whether a similar response can be enticed in vivo under pathophysiological conditions. In an ideal scenario, we would be able to recruit just a specific subtype of parasites for regenerating neurons that have died during the course of trauma or disease without affecting the main population of parasites. Whether these cells truly hold a universal key to tissue repair is a fascinating concept to be explored in the future.